I was uh, recently asked by Trish at Bowerbirds what things I collected like string, toilet paper rolls, tins, jars, all that type of stuff than actual serious collecting of things like coasters, wooden chopping boards, clothes, vintage clothes, etc. So these are some of the things, not everything, but a selection of the things that, so we'll start here. Here is an egg carton. I'm collecting the lint from the wall that I felt and we have a candle most nights at the dinner table and what I do is I will melt the, the candle wax from this stub of uh, candle, pour into and onto the lint and that will be a fire lighter or they will be fire lighters. Here is some, a little tin but I do collect nice tins as you can see, this tin is a pretty tin, only small, but it says toast time there. And in it is some coasters that I've made from felted wool. I collect articles from magazines because these are my inspiration for my refashioning. And I use a lot of these articles in my workshops that I do. Here is a very thick folder on thrifting, thrifting sorry, recycling and decorating. So I'm an avid collector of articles that interest me on the topic and I will occasionally refer to these articles. I collect seeds. I collect these lapels or ep I don't know what they're called. Epaulettes on shoulders anyway of clothes uh, because rather than do a buttonhole, it's already done and I can use that on a bag or a garland there just stitch along along there put a button on the bag and you have a closure I collect wishbones chicken wishbones because I like to make wishes with Danny or the children grandkids corks come in handy or use in a number of things, whether it's to cork up a bottle, a jar, or to make a stamp. I collect certain tags, mainly coming from woolen garments that I felt, and then I re reuse those. Old bras, I cut the brass straps off and use these for a number of things, mainly to tie up my homemade journals, keep them closed. I collect these that come from garments. I don't I use hangers. I don't and hang from the shoulders. I don't use these and these can come in handy for using on my labels, attaching my labels to what I make. I love, as you can see, collecting rubber bands. I have oodles of them. And these ones are my favourite. They come from usually asparagus. I find them really handy size. I like purple and they're quite strong. I collect bits and pieces of ephemeria that I make usually wedding um, bride things, what are they called, that they hang on their wrists and a uh, little trinket in them that you give to them. I can't remember what they're called. Somebody can uh, post me and tell me.
what they're called, those things that brides put on their wrists. I don't think they do it much these days, but I like to make them. Here I collect, not much, but I collect junk mail. And I use the junk mail for paper craft when I'm uh, using glue so that the glue doesn't stick to certain things. It's very handy. I also make envelopes which are very different. So that's an envelope. It's folded. It's got a paper clip there up at the top. That's where you put the stamp. I collect all our old toothbrushes. Most people I'm sure do that for those finer cleaning jobs in those small places. I collect the old dental interdental brushes. Danny uses them quite a bit for those various electricals, hard to get to places that need to clean. I will pick up anything like this. So this is a dishwashing tablet. We found a pile of them out in the street in hard rubbish. I pick those up because they're good for cleaning stains off uh, stains off things. Similar to denture tablets, very strong there. So there you go. There's some of the things I promised I would uh, show you that most people might throw out.